What's up, YouTubers? This is Dom Caridi, and telling you Happy New Year, everyone, and it's Happy 2019. So, today's I'm doing my review of the Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora Second Form from the Bring Arts 6 inch action figure. And let me tell you, everyone, I'm excited. I've been a huge uh, fan of the Kingdom Hearts, but I have played the video game before. Um, I have played the first one, and I've never played the second one, but I've actually watched so many YouTube videos of the second of the Kingdom Hearts 2. And the, coming out uh, in three weeks is the Disney's Kingdom Hearts 3, which is coming out in three weeks, January 29th worldwide. And I'm excited for about that, and that's what I really wanted for Christmas for this year. But that will be my Christmas present for now. Well, overall, let's... Uh, enough chit-chat. So, on to the figure. Um, the figure looks pretty good, and it's actually a smaller scale of from a regular action figure. Here we have Sora, and it's Kipe, but it's a very fancy package. Here over this side, we have all these uh, Mickey Mouses, the crown, and the Keyblade. And back of here we have is the pictures of the figure. We have Sora just chilling and just looking around, holding a keyblade and that. And it's all written in Japanese, but it's just no pictures of the figures on these packages. All right, let's get Sora out of his packaging. And here's Sora out of his packaging and along with all of his accessories and also including is his instructions which is all written in Japanese or something like that we get you no know, it's gonna be extra careful with these these might intend to break so please be careful so now let's take a look at the figure himself it kind of resembles from the video game likeness of the character and I'm trying to get my camera to focus there we go and his face looks very nice and I love his um, the necklace he was wearing a crown his outfit looks pretty cool looks pretty badass and the colors looks really nice his shorts pants capris whatever he's wearing his shoes look really big looks very nice and I love this figure so much and his face looks pretty nice looking too as well and I really do dig this figure so much yeah all right now let's move on to his accessories that he comes with here we have is the another head sculpt he's got him with his angry face his battle face on and he's got extra hands with Two of the open hands, one grip hands where he can hold the key blade, and two of them with his fist closed. And here's one with the key blade. This is pretty cool. The key blade is very shiny. And this thing is actually dangles. It's not really real, but it's just plastic. So um, let's just begin with the accessories. So here's what you do with his head. You actually take his head off. It, ow, it's actually pointy. He has sharp little sharp edges and switching on with his angry face on just pushing in like so there we go and you switch out the hands oh that's easy and just place it in oh 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 like that it's a little bit tight if you ask me there we go. I've seen this before on YouTube, so um, i never done this before. So here you do with this keyblade, and you just pop this one off, like so. There we go. Like that. You slide this in, like this. And put that in. you got to slide it in right in. You just wiggle it in, wiggle it in, like that. And then put the top back on. And put the top right back on it. Like that. Or 
maybe like this. Is it right? Uh, here we see here. Uh, oh, okay. That's the way we do it. And there you go. Him holding the keyblade. And what you can do is now that is so freaking cool. Oops, sorry, the camera fell. Oh, 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 there we go. That's better. Okay, here we have him with his keyblade. And now let's do here he comes with his stand where you can actually stand him without the stand. Um, he doesn't really need it. Well, whatever. So let's get to a comparison. Here we have size comparison with the other SH Figure Arts figures. And we have his Wonder Woman, Superman, Harley Quinn, and Batman. There are four of them are from SH Figure Arts, and except Sora, he's from uh, Bring Arts. So that means it is actually a great scale with these figures. And it's actually perfect for those guys, if you ask me. And now we'll start with the articulations. Okay, everyone, I'd like to inform you before we get to articulation, I might want to be careful not to force the figure for more articulations. I know it's super posable, but it's cool, though they might since they might tend to break. So better be extra careful with these. So let's get to the articulations and we're gonna go nice and easy. Okay, so his articulation, his head can move oh his head pop off. Um Actually, you can move up, up a little bit, or just a little bit down, very much. It's just, oh, that's just his head that you can move of his neck. Yes, like that. And it stays on. And his arms can go in and out, like that. And he actually can swing, go all the way around. No? Go all the way around like that. Yeah, we got butterfly joints. Don't want to break that. Oh, 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 careful. You got double jointed arms, ball joint arms. Articulation from the wrists. And swivel right there. Like that. We got a ab crunch. Yep, an ab crunch. Waist swivel. Legs can actually kick forward like that, and then back, and knee articulation, feet articulation, and also feet can go up, can go down, and then up, like that. And we also have ankle pivots! Yes! That's what we needed. So that's a really cool figure. And I cannot wait to get the game so badly. So there you have it, guys. This is the Sora figure from Disney's Kingdom Hearts 3. And I was trying to get him to uh, his signature pose from the game where he's ready to fight. So you can actually do whatever you want with him and so on. I really love this figure so much. And I cannot wait for the game to come out. And I'm really, really really want to get this game. So, I uh, hope you guys are a big fan of Kingdom Hearts game. If you're excited to get the game when it comes out, January 29th. So, it'll be out in three weeks. And I'll be looking forward to play it. So, l leave your comments down below. Give your, the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And leave me down in the comments what can I do my next review. So, thanks for watching guys. And have a happy new year. Thank you.